Welcome back. All right, I want to talk about some of the best lenses for the Canon 5D Mark II. And the reason that I choose the Canon 5D Mark II is because, first of all, I own it, so it's very applicable to me. But it's also a very popular camera right now due to its incredible value as a full-frame camera. It really um, offers a great deal of high resolution for a very cheap cost. It dwarfs the original 5D at not very much increase in cost over it if you're buying on the used market and if you're buying uh, from an auction type website such as eBay for example. Um, on the Nikon side it takes Nikon a few models to get to where the 5D Mark II was and because of that Nikon does not really present a great value for full frame bodies on the budget end of the spectrum. And so because of that I wanted to talk about a few lenses that are the top performers in terms of uh, sharpness on the 5D Mark II according to DxOMark. Now I'm using DxOMark for my source because um, it has access to more lenses than I can test personally. My budget is not uh, that great for that sort of thing. And second of all, the methodology, while it's sometimes disagreed with, is very straightforward. And they list many more results than I can, uh, than I can test on my own or that other people can even test as far as I have, uh, as far as I have um, understood. The first lens that I want to look at, and possibly the sharpest ever on the 5D Mark II, is Canon's EF 300mm f2.8 L lens with image stabilization and version 2. This lens here that you see in the, in the video. As you can see, um, it shows you up here the, what the best focal length is and the best aperture value is for the maximum sharpness. And it shows you that uh, it's about in the middle of the road. But on the 5D Mark II, it is capable of resolving 21 perceived megapixels of sharpness. And of course, these, I'm not going to really worry about these other measurements here, because these can all really be compensated for in uh, post-production very easily with minimal image quality loss, whereas this one cannot. And this is the most important to us, especially if we don't um, edit our images very much after, after taking them. So this is the sharpest lens that I have discovered for the, that has been tested for the 5D Mark II. Next, we come to Sigma's 50mm f1.4 uh, HSMA for Canon mount. It's the art lens, the 51.4 art lens. On the 5D Mark II, it'll give you perceived megapixel sharpness of 17 which is almost all of the resolving power of the 5D Mark II sensor. And it tells you that the, um, that the sharpness is achieved uh, best at 50 millimeters and f2. Okay. This is a great option for, um, if you want just one, if you can afford just one lens, uh, to take with you on a trip or if you want one lens that does a lot of things very well, this is a great lens for you to choose. Um, I have shot with a 50mm lens for a long time, and even though I have gone to other uh, focal lengths as well, 100mm for macro work, 70-200 um, to 200 for portrait work, 70-300 uh, to 300 for some bird shots, close-up wildlife, things like that, 50mm uh, is still my favorite all around focal length because I can, it's very, it's still very versatile. I can switch from, uh, landscapes to architecture to portraits to, um, almost macro shots. It does so much very well. The only thing it really struggles with is, um, ph uh, wildlife photography, uh, in which case the 300 millimeter would be better suited for you. The 300 millimeter, however, is a lot more expensive. I believe it's around five thousand dollars or so for that for the second version of the 300 millimeter uh, image stabilized lens. And it also is very um, 
specialized in its use because it only exists at 300 millimeters. You can't um, you can't physically change the um, change the focal length, and changing focal length by you moving is limited very much by being such a long focal length as well. So I really prefer this 50 millimeter as the, the best all around lens. Next in my roundup, uh, we have the Canon EF 70 200 f2.8, uh, the image stabilized version 2. This is a dream lens for the 5D Mark II. The oftentimes belittled focusing system uh, of the 5D Mark II seems to perform much, much better. And the only place where it really um, goes back to its pitiful performance is right at dusk and in the dark. Uh, if you have any sort of daylight at all, this lens on this camera makes you think you have a totally different focusing system in your camera. It focuses very quickly, very fast, um, and very accurately. I, I use this lens quite a bit, and I have never had a problem focusing with it at all. It has always been uh, accurate the first time. It has never hunted at all, except when you get into nighttime scenarios where you don't have light or if you're shooting into extremely bright light and it can't pick up um, a subject in the in the foreground then you might have some problems so if you're shooting into direct sunlight or you're shooting into uh, a very high powered light this this lens um, or any lens for that matter on the 5d mark ii will struggle with focusing but this lens on this camera makes you forget you're holding a mark ii and you might as well think you're holding a 6d or a mark iii uh, because it focuses that quickly and that accurately. On this camera, it delivers 18 perceptual megapixels of sharpness, and uh, it performs best at 100 millimeters and f2.8, according to um, DxO Mark's uh, suggestion here. I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, from uh, from a, a pure um, user experience level, I shot with this. I've shot with this lens. Um, at 70, at 200, and everything in between, and it has been uh, as sharp as any other focal length with which I have used this lens. And then finally, oh, that was that, that was that. Oh, over here. Any time now? Okay, here we go. Finally, um, in our in our top four list of sharpest lenses for the 5D Mark II. We have the very rare original Canon EF 85mm f1.2 L USM lens. Uh, this lens, I say it's rare because I almost never see it for sale. Um, it is, it is, when it is for sale, it is cheaper than the second version, but I almost never see it. Um, this lens is reportedly slower to focus than the second model, but on the 5D Mark II, you're getting about, I want to say, three or four uh, megapixels of sharpness that the second version loses on this particular camera. And I want to say that holds true as well for other cameras on which this lens is, has been tested. Um, it also suffers from chromatic aberration as well, which is something that is, uh, I believe, better addressed in the second version, although I haven't used the second version. And because of the rarity of this lens in relation to where I look for it or, or where I have um, rented lenses, uh, this I have never been able to get my hands on. So I'm relying solely on what DxO Mark is saying about it. For those who have used the second version on this camera, uh, many people say that it performs just as well. Uh, it's, it's exceedingly sharp, things like that. Um, I would say that that is the case. But the 85 1.2 in either version really isn't, um, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna say that it's not made for sharpness, but what I will say is that it gives a very ethereal and dreamy quality to, to, uh, portraits. And this is really, uh, created and destined as a portrait lens. It is, it is, it's at a weird focal length for doing anything else. Um, it's, it's wide enough that, that you can, get reasonably close with, with your camera, but it's tight enough that you can't get reasonably enough far away from larger subjects to do things like architectural photography very well with this lens. 
and so it really puts it in a niche for portraits uh, or almost macro work maybe um, but portraits is what is where it really shines and because of the very uh, dreamlike quality that it'll give to backgrounds and things that are out of focus that's where this lens is um, seen to excel all right so that wraps up my list of top four sharpest lenses for the 5d mark ii if you have any recommendations that i didn't cover feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, tell me why they're the sharpest why you think that um, feel free to provide well i don't think uh, youtube allows links and comments i was going to say feel free to provide links to your images that you think um, promote the sharpness of the lens that you uh, suggest but i don't know how that would really work so go ahead and just tell me about your sharpest lenses anyway and we'll see if uh, we'll see if we can find measurements or, or photos um, that depict that uh, until next time thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye